Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to create an expanding grid in Framer. It looks quite complicated, but it's actually quite easy. I created a new document, made the page black. Let's add a frame. Make it 300 by 300. Make the radius 16. Let's duplicate it by holding Alt. Let's take these as well. Make sure they align. Highlight all of them. Right click, create component. Let's name it. Let's name variant one to expanding grid also. And now we're ready to begin. A few moments later. I had to stop for a second to pull off my headphones because it was getting a bit hot. So, uh, but let's continue. I'm here, let's go into the component. Now here we have the four frames. Let's rename them by calling this slide one, slide two, slide three, and slide four. So now we're ready to add some images into it. Let's take the image over in layout. Draw a box and make sure that it fills the entire frame. Now while we're here, let's call this image and add a fill to it. Under fills, you can choose between solid gradients and different gradients, and then you have the image options. You can choose this one from your hard drive, or but in this case, I'm choosing one from Unsplash. Now we have this place, let's duplicate it to all the others. So I'm highlighting this, alt dragging into slide two, alt dragging again into alt or option, sorry, if you're on Mac, and alt dragging into slide four. So now we have four images that are the same. So let's find some other images just to vary everything. Let's do the same with these. Go for blue and the last one let's find something light airy it's not light this one now we need the four different states because we have four images so let's click on variant let's rename this to slide one now pressing ctrl d command d to duplicate three times Go slide two. Good. Now we have all four states. So now we need to link them up. So let's take slide one, click on the add interaction, a new transition. It should be on mouse enter. And when you hover over it, which is mouse enter, you will go to slide one, the variant state. Slide one. Exit out. Add a new one, which should be when you leave slide one, you will go back to the expanding grid, which is the primary one. And then just need to do this for all four. Now we have all four set up. Now we need to do the actual state changes so we can see what happens. On slide one, the first, which is this one, it should expand to 460, while the other ones are then being small so, or contracting. So this one should be 140 by 460 in height, so it aligns with the other one. And then these two, slide three and four, will be 140 in height. When we're going from this state to this state, some strange transforming will happen to these because we're also transforming the image. So we just gotta make sure that, let me just, actually let me just show you. So when I go, so when we go hover over this, we pay attention to this lamp on the right side. As you can see, it stretches 
which is very strange. So let's fix that by going to slide one, the image, not the box, and make it square again. So 460. And we're gonna play around with the cropping. Or we can just move it with the arrow keys. There you go. That should have fixed it. So now we have this looks a lot better because it's not transforming or distorting in the same way. So let's do it with all the other states, with all the other images. Let's check it out, or how it looks. So basically we're done now, but let's spice it up a little bit by adding some text and some some changes to the different states. So I'm only gonna do one of them, but just so you can see how it works. So we're at fairly simple. Let's add a frame. Add it to left, left, right and bottom. Let's make it 140. Let's add a gradient to it. Make it dark, dark. Or the bottom, dark. The top, dark as well, but make it transparent. Let's set the opacity. To as you can see, the changes ref is reflected here as well as here. Let's remember to rename our layer. Let's add some text to it. Good, looks nice. Let's duplicate this. On the socket. Let's make it regular 16. And maybe just a slight gray also. Something like this. Let's make sure that it is above the gradient so you can actually see it. Let's pull both all the way to the bottom. There you go. And now I wanna have a transition between this where there shouldn't be any text and to where there actually is some text. So let's do this state and do make the opacity zero. Now I'm highlighting both, holding shift and using the arrow keys to make it go out of the frame. And then over on slide one, I will do the reverse. So let's set the gradient back to 0.6. Pull the headline and the subheader out of the bottom. As you can see, the text comes in, disappears. Now you can do a little trick I discovered accidentally. So if you, right now, these two come in at the same time, which is a bit static and boring, but if you take on the first slide, check the subheader, hold shift and just pull it down a few times. That should be enough because then they're traveling different distances at the same time. So as you can see, the text come in a little bit later than the rest and it gives a nice little effect. So there you have it guys, simple effect, but it looks very nice. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.